Hi everyone, it's Carson Ben, welcome back and thank you for joining me on my 50th video, I'm super excited, um, I'm getting back into the GTA content, but I'm not going to waste any of your time, let's just get straight into the new summer update. Um, so there has been 50 new vehicles added, there's been, um, there's a, some, some of those are open wheel cars, Benny's upgrades, super yacht vehicles, co-op missions, um, new businesses to increase the rewards, a heck of a lot of stuff. For the summer special and I'm super excited to talk about it today with you guys. Um, I'm just going to go through some super, basically what you're here for, I'll just talk about the cars. So I'm going to go through them one by one and just talk about what there is. So yeah, there's um, a hell of a lot. So let's start with the sort of initial one. So we've got the Mitsubishi Eclipse, um, we've got a Golf, we've got um, sort of a, a, land, a new Landstalker, a, a Beta Duke and an off-road vehicle, sort of a new Canis. Um, all very expensive as you'll see, um, which all pretty much 1 million for majority. So let's start with the Eclipse, it's 1.3 million, it's white, it's very fast and furious esque and it looks fantastic. Um, I can't wait to drive this car because it just look. I think the customization is going to be fantastic. I think you can't take it to Benny's unfortunately, but this would be you know, a great option. Okay, a Golf, a BF Club, it's 1.2 million, which in my opinion is a very a lot of money. For a small golf, but the course I did very well on the last one. Personally, should be six hundred thousand the minimum, or sorry, maximum. But I'm sure it'll be fantastic. The customization on this will be amazing. I can't wait to use it. All right, so the Dundreary Landstalker. I'm guessing this is like a Cadillac Escalade. Um, I can't really tell, but it, I'm sure that'll be an, a fun off-road sort of city cruiser, especially if you're in a um, in a high so missions that could be sort of good there but again 1.2 million um, I wouldn't have it in that colour but let's have a look at the next one the Imponte Dukes which is we all know this classic car it just looks I think it looks personally better than the last one it looks more beat up and the wheels look cooler it looks wider as well at the back um, 378,000 so not terrible I don't think but the, the normal one is free so just consider that the Canis Frontier um, in my opinion, is going to be an excellent off-roader. It'll have a lot of customization, and I can't wait to use this vehicle as well. And a reasonable price as well for some reason. This one, the uh, six hundred seventy-eight thousand. I think it could be cheaper again, but you know we've all been given millions of dollars, so we can't complain too much. But those are the sort of five new vehicles on Southern San Andreas um, Motorsport. I'm super buzzed about the new vehicles because I love covering content on this. So. Let's have a look. So there's gonna, obviously, it says about bull bars and whatnot, so I think there'll be a lot of customization there. Let's go straight into Legendary Motorsport, which is here. Okay, so we've got four new vehicles in Legendary Motorsport. We've got two open wheel racers, obviously, naturally going to be very expensive. I don't usually buy these things, but let's have a look at them anyway. So the BR8 is one of them, 3.4 million. Not a lot to say other than it's an open wheel racer, but it'll probably be very fast. And we've got the DR1, which again is a bit more of a futuristic looking F1 racer. 2.9 million, a bit cheaper than the last one, but both look excellent. I'm sure that's to do with the open wheel racing. Um, let's have a look at the Lampadati Tigon. We've seen this one in the previews a few times. In my opinion, it's, it looks like a sort of a mix between a Jag and a Ford GT. Uh, 2.3 million, which is, I think, mean, considering the Golf is 1.2, that is probably quite reasonable considering the day and age we're in with GTA. I think it looks fantastic and especially in orange. I don't know how fast it will be but I'm sure it will be great. And then moving on to the vehicle of today's video, the Cocker D10. I'm super buzzed for this one. Um, 1.5 million. I'm going to buy it, customise it for you guys and it's just so you can see what it's like so you don't have to waste your money. Uh, and hopefully you enjoy the video. I think it looks excellent first off. Um, it's pretty much an exact replica of the, Cor uh, the Corvette we have now have in 2020. Um, I think they've really got it banged on with this car. There's absolutely no, like from what I can see, there's just no, you know, it's sort of the, the upgraded version of what we have in the game already. So we've had two, we've got the classic Finn and the sort of moderner version, sort of the 10 year old version. But I've bought it, I've gone for a naughty pink. Let's have a look at it. So I'll just do a quick little overview of the car as you can see, it, I think it looks absolutely styling wise excellent. Um, I've gone for pink, I thought it looked quite good in pink actually. There's just something about it that just looks 
just just exactly true to itself. A lot of them didn't, so the Porsche 19, 918 really did not look like the car it was supposed to be, in my opinion. But this one, it really, uh, yeah, looks like, like excellent. Let's go into first person. Interior, pretty much standard, what we expect from the, the couple of years ago update where they've upgraded the interiors. Nothing too special here, but it is a nicer place to be than the last one. Um, I'm super, super excited to see what this is going to look like when we're upgrading it. I'm going to do a full upgrade for you guys, just so you can see. And just so you can, you know, I'll just get straight into it, do the upgrade. And that's the video, really, for for what I'm trying to aim for. But hopefully you enjoyed this video, and uh, you do leave a like, comment, subscribe. I do a lot of car videos. Specifically, I've been waiting on GTA content, and there's not been a lot of it. So, um, yeah, I'm... Super excited to get some buzz back into it. We'll do a quick test here and see how the vehicle performs. I thought it was quite quick on the initial off. The stock version is very fast. So, definitely nothing to worry about there. It's not going to be the fastest car in its class, which I'm assuming is a sports class. Uh, I don't think it fits the supercar class. Correct me if I'm wrong. But other than that, um, still very fast would be definitely worthwhile in races and I think what you've got to understand with this car is this is a lot more of an improve in real life this is a lot more of an improved version the handling will be much better you can as there you can slide it um, I think it'll be more focused around cornering as well with this car this time I don't think the last one was great with that but this one will be similarly um, powered to how the last co coquette was or however you say it the Corvette in GCA of course, GTA has been around now for seven years or so, so that is an old car even in the game standards. So having this is really excellent. I love what GTA are doing in terms of the listening to the fans, the listen to what cars we want, because you know there's so many more cars you could add with GTA, and I think that's why they're going to carry on making it for PS5. There's just the content is just endless, and GTA is turning into a car game. Then. An actual Grand Theft Auto focused game which is in a way I'd like to see more story but that's another video but I think so far handles fantastically I don't know you know what it's gonna be like upgrade wise I'm super excited to see it but we'll go to Los Santos customs do the upgrades I'm hoping to do another video on the Eclipse because that's more of my second or the Golf but Again, for 1.2 million, you've got to sort of consider how expensive, if anyone else agrees with me, like how expensive that is for a Golf. I mean, 1.2 million is crazy. I know we've been given millions of dollars over the last few months. If anyone's been logging in, you'll know. But 1.2 million for a Golf is just absurd. I, I'm trying to think of, you know, even the Adder was a million, and that was back in the day. I know things have changed, but really, that is expensive. Even the course it wasn't that much. So I actually really enjoyed making this gameplay because I had a bit of um when I came out I did some of this, something with other people where there was more people in the same coquette so I'm super buzzed to see that. All right, so let's go straight into upgrades, which is why you guys are here. We've got five options for the front splitter. I don't particularly like any of them. They're very abrupt. They just really stick out. But if you're trying to go for that look, then that's absolutely understandable. I think they're trying to make it more of a race car myself. I want to try and keep a clean build here, and um, if you do, get, if you obviously like that, you'll understand why. Uh, but if your thing is a bit more crazy, that's absolutely fine as well. So I'll skip the performance upgrades for this, but I will sort of go into here we go exhaust. So we've got a few options of exhaust. It's a bit of a tough one because I like the originals, but um, I think I'll go for the sort of sport diffuser because they sort of make a sort of slight upgrade for that. I'll probably stick with the pink itself because I think the pink looks kind of unique. I don't have a car that is pink. Usually it's white, blue, black. But okay, so we've got a bit of a more choice of going for Zen on headlights, of course. Uh, libraries, we've got a load of libraries to choose from, like a lot. If you really want to like, get a good library on this car, this is the car to buy. So we've got stripes, we've got in, uh, sort of yellow stripes. Two in stripes, the racing camo. Okay, quite like that. I do quite like that. It's sort of a trend now where people do these racing camos, and um, 
this sort of Pegasi Hunter one, which is again pretty cool if you're you're really into these kind of vehicles, the American vehicles as opposed to the Italian ones. I think this car is, again, I've said it before, excellent looking. It's just, I'm still stunned by how good looking this car is. Yeah, well, so you can do two-tone where you can change the colour of the wheels and side trim, which in my opinion looks fantastic. Guys, if you um, if you sort of see what, if you can see it on, I don't know if you can see it as well as I can, but you can ch it changes the colour of the wheels and sort of a slight trim on the back, as you can see there. So I've gone for white just because I thought it would be a nice sort of standout colour. Interior trim, looking fantastic as well. Oh, and you can take the roof off. So obviously with the, cor uh, the new Corvette, you can have a, a roofless version, and they've just obviously adapted that. So unlike, if I'm not mistaken, the last Corvette, I want to say Corvette, unlike the last Corvette, you had to buy the car separately, but on this, you can now just remove it on the Los Santos Customs update, which is nice. Okay, so roof scoops, don't really like any of them, but you know what, I'll go for a black because they sort of suits that black roof scoop. Uh, Sell-wise, it's worth just under a million, just in case you guys are interested. So if you do buy it, okay, you're losing about 500,000 on the car, which is quite a bit, but you'd probably, I think I'm going to keep it because it looks fantastic. Spoilers, very important. Um, it definitely suits the car. It doesn't always suit every car on Los Santos Customs, but this one specifically really does. Uh, standard pink, I'll just stick with that. I think, it's got, I think it looks fantastic. Um, obviously, suspension, that's a tough one. Not too low, I think it's too low. Medium suspension, roughly. Uh, obviously got the sun stripe on the window. And wheels, I'm going to stick with the same wheels just because they suit the trim. But there is a new system now with uh, street wheels. So obviously there's a new Frankie and Benny's, Frankie and Benny's, Benny's upgrades. Um, and there's new wheels. Not all of them are new, but some adjusted to possibly, you know, the, the new upgrade updates, which I'll try and find out what they are after this video. But some of them look good. Um, so that's about 31 in total. And then, of course, windows. A slight in for me. Always the way. But that is pretty much it, guys. That is the customization of the Coquette Invertero uh, D10. I think that's what it's called. It changes every day. Uh, I think it looks excellent in this in this, uh, this colour and just body scheme. I'm going to probably put a, a really crazy camo on it. But... The next bit of the video, we meet up with some people actually by accident, complete accident, who have, which is really strange, um, who have a vehicle. Well, it's, I guess it's not. It just came out today. I was literally driving around, and then suddenly, boom, there's like two people just there. So I kind of just wait to see if they're going to come out. But there's like, and also the color, the color skit range here is fantastic. You got yellow, silver, and pink, and I think that yellow one looks amazing. I actually might now change it to yellow after seeing this because that is, it looks fantastic. Uh, I'm just kind of hanging around waiting for these guys to see what they, if they come out, just so I can sort of get them to, the guy actually comes out and like salutes me, which is funny, you know, sometimes GTA communities, if you're, the GTA community can be good sometimes or bad most of the time, but in this case, you can just, it was just something I really wanted to see would happen. And um, yeah, that was just definitely, something I just wanted to wait for but other than that the customization of this vehicle is definitely worth it so if you are considering buying this vehicle as a consumer advice definitely um for 1.5 million yeah it's it's worth it um it's definitely a, a, a good vehicle to buy could it be less I think it could be more like a million sure but the customization you're probably looking at around 2 million if you're going to fully customize it um and I think for the vehicles that we've seen in the, in the update to come i didn't think there would be any more but here we are yeah there's a lot of updates so do i recommend some of the other vehicles yes possibly at the prices maybe not they could be less but that's since we've all been given millions of dollars anyway um sort of as a, a top tip for gta players yeah definitely go and buy them with the money we've sort of saved up for over this whole time if you've been logging in so that's pretty much the video guys i hope you liked it um i have been cars with ben I am a car 
creating channel. I make all types of cards content. Specifically now with GTA coming out, I'm probably going to do some more of that. Um, look, I just think it looks excellent. It looks, it looks excellent. Yeah. There you are, there you are, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I've been Carter Ben, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Let's <laughs> go.